and I am on the air. Welcome to part two. This is Maniac with GameAccess.net. I'm pretty happy with the stream I started yesterday, and I just want to know that we're going to be continuing with the opening for Final Fantasy VII. Couple of thoughts I want to. Um, I do plan on having this stream available on YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash maniac536. So, um, in case you missed anything, or if you wanted to see a previous bit in this um, ongoing Let's Play, you can go to that web website and vi uh, see that video as well as some of my others. So, thanks for that. Second thing, um, this is basically a comment to Square Enix. I was basically running the numbers in my head as well as uh, looking at a couple of other things that are going on throughout the, um, the Final Fantasy uh, and through Square Enix's business plans and stuff like that and I have noticed under several circumstances that um, well why doesn't Square bring if, if Square has successfully been able to port their original version which was then port the original version of Final Fantasy 7 to the PC and then taken that port and then ported it over to the PlayStation 4 what's to stop them from basically lost a little bit of lighting there but I'll, I'll fix that in a second re-release seeing any of the other Final Fantasy games that were released in that uh, okay I gotta fix the lighting here just give me a second I'll continue my thoughts okay I think that should be enough and that should stay consistent. Sorry about that. If I need more lighting, I'll increase the lighting. But for right now, I thought I need more lighting, but I think I got more than enough right now, actually. That uh, PlayStation camera is doing a pretty good job. So, continuing on, uh, what's to stop Square from re-releasing Final Fantasy VIII or Final Fantasy IX? Um, there's no reason for them to re-release Final Fantasy X or Final Fantasy X-2 because they've already done that. Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy X-2 are available for the PS4. So I don't have to ask for those. You can either go to the store and pick it up or buy it on the PlayStation Store. Either is acceptable. So those games are... ...form short of PlayStation platforms, which tells me... I think there might be a Sony exclusivity license on those two. I, I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty certain there might be licensing reasons. Knowing Square's uh, insistence on re-releasing a lot of these games, I think that would probably be more of a legal standpoint. Now, again, as for stuff, um, what I have planned for this episode, I don't plan on having this as a longer stream, depending upon how the stream goes. I'm not planning on doing a very long stream. it would probably be about the same length as it was uh, in the previous part, about 45 or so minutes. Um, second thing is, is that um, I'm still... I'm going off script here. I, I don't have a script or any ideas. Depending upon if people populate this stream, I may just consider answering their questions about RPGs, about the video game industry, about my website, about PlayStation Experience, which is still going on in San Francisco at the Moscone Center. Hi, guys at Sony, if you're watching this, I'd appreciate it. But, um, yeah, just some ideas while we load the game. And I'll load my game from yesterday. Okay, save and load times are very good. This is the first time I've loaded a game from here, and then this is really good. So. <laughs> okay, I can't go this way. I can't go that way. So, we're gonna go catch up with Barrett and um, the rest of Avalanche. Did Bear just start shooting everybody out of his own bar? Oh, there's Tifa. <laughs> okay, they know that's Avalanche's bar. There's a news update. They say there was a terrorist explosion up above, and this time it was the Mako reactor. You know what this means? You know what? You see, as I like keeping on top of these things, if you ask me. If you knock out Midgar's power, then all of its computers and signals are going to get knocked out, too. Financially, there must have been about a billion gil worth of damage. Well, if you blow up a power plant, then yeah, I guess that'll do that. And that ain't all. A lot of innocent people got killed, too. Not to my memory. There was nobody in the power plant other than guards. Now, maybe they were invisible or something. If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, that would have been one thing. At least people could have gone in their sleep. 
Are they talking about, is this... I'm not opening up, go away. Is going to talk to some of these guys? Oh, oh, psh. <laughs> What the hell is wrong tonight? I thought that long blackout was strange. They say a Mako reactor was destroyed above. I was just sitting here drinking, watching the news by myself. And all of a sudden I get kicked out of the store. What's up with that? Why you guys gotta watch your mouse? Okay, there's something going on here about the sensor bars here. If I remember correctly in the PS3 ports of the PS1 game, there was a little bit less of the sensor bar. Is this something... Let me check the, the menu and the options, maybe. Okay, nothing there. Now, options is supposed to be the menu button, but there's nothing happening. Maybe config? Okay, I, oh, I can... Well, that's cool, I can change the auto color. That's kind of cool, but uh, no, that didn't help me any. I was kind of hoping maybe that there's a, what do you call it, for the sensors. Uh, maybe it's in the other po portion of the menu. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm blitzed. I just love them. Oh, sorry, I gotta do this. I gotta do this in drunk, in drunk Tony Stark voice. Oh, jeez, I'm blitzed. I just love them homemade cocktails, but they sure do creep up on you. Okay, this guy likes mixed drinks, so good to know. Let's go talk to Barrett now. Okay, go on ahead. I just love the art style here. Yo, Cl- <laughs> Alright, alright. So this is Barrett's bar. Marlene. Aren't you gonna- Marlene, aren't you gonna say anything to Cloud? Hi, Tifa. Welcome home, Cloud. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? I'm gonna say not this time. <laughs> You've grown up. When you were little, you used to get fights at the drop of a hat. I'm gonna keep it to Tifa. I'm sure some people would have put other naughtier terms for her, but I'm not gonna invoke the spoony, uh, the spoony name uh, system. Okay, select. Flowers, how nice. You almost never see them here in the slums. Yes, I did pick up a flower from from Airy, but a flower for me? Oh, Cloud, you shouldn't have. Actually, I want to give this to Marlene. She looks upset. Did I do that wrong? Uh, not like the first drink after a job. <laughs> Why don't you have one too? Oh, that's more like it. Even with your war with soldier, you're still a rookie here, so you better listen to whatever I tell you. I'm actually being nice to these guys. Oh, Cloud. Tifa really knows how to cook. Mm. Anyway, let me tell you something. Tifa always lets me taste her cooking. And look at me now, roly poly. Don't know whether I should be happy or sad, but the good food and drinks that make this shop famous. Hey, Wedge, you're getting all excited. Stop making such a mess. Okay, I guess I gotta go for the exit. Yeah, here we go. Papa, welcome home! Yeah. Okay, this is just adorable right here. Uh, where'd you get that flower? Cloud gave it to me. Oh. Did you thank him? Thank you, Cloud. We'll take care of you. 
You all right, Barrett? Great. Get in here, fools. We're starting the meeting. Okay. I want this. <laughs> if I ever build a house, <laughs> uh, custom from my own two hands, I want <laughs> a lowering pinball machine down to a secret back cave type area. Tifa, sit down. How about something to drink? Just a minute, I'll make one for you. You know, I'm relieved you made it back safely. What's with you all of a sudden? That job wasn't even tough. I guess not. You were in soldier. Make sure you get your pay from Barrett. Don't worry, once I get that money, I'm out of here. Cloud, are you feeling all right? Yeah, why? No reason, you just look a little tired, I guess. Well, he did just blow up a, a, a power plant, that's why. You better go down below. All right, well, I talked to Tifa. Guess I might as well go down below. This is kind of cool. Let's see. All right, there it goes. This is a really cool scene. I just love the art style here. Jazzy, oops. Hey, look at the news, what a blast. I think it was all because of my boom. <laughs> but all I really did do was make it like the computer told me. Oh no, I must have made a miscalculation somewhere. Oh crap. <laughs> that can't be good, Jesse. Wait, do you think I'm a little too uptight? No. Well, that's okay, don't worry about me. I don't look like it, but I'm a coward at heart. Good to know. Let's see if this works. President Shimwa. Today, the number one reactor was bombed. The terrorist group Avalanche has claimed responsibility for the bombing. It is expected that Avalanche will continue its reign of terror. But citizens of Midgar, there is no need to fear. I have immediately mobilized soldier to protect our citizenry against the senseless violence. Thank you and good night. Okay. There's something that has to be addressed here. And that is, of course, the subject matter of how this is playing out. Now, if memory serves... Japan did have a very, very heavy rash of, I believe, it was definitely terrorism in the late 90s. It could be the mid to the late 90s, but I remember it was around the time that they were working on um, uh, the specific Super Sentai. It, there, there was basically a rash of just really just terrible violence in uh, Japan probably could have inspired the subject matter for this game. Now, I'm not saying that that's the truth, but the times were were that um, the people in Japan were afraid sometime around the time when I, I don't even remember what the name of the show was, but it was the Super Sentai that Power Ranger Zeo was based off of. And given the subject matter of what that Sentai was, and how you know it could have been construed as violence or militaristic, they decided to make something that was a bit more lighthearted, a bit more campy for the um, the season that would follow that particular season, the series of which would later be made over into Power Rangers Turbo. Now, so they decided, that was to probably the detriment of Power Rangers Turbo because it caused some pretty severe mood whiplash for anybody that was going directly from Zeo to Turbo, and I know I specifically, yeah, but... I think that they probably this could have been around the right th that same time, and I think that that might have been where uh, the Japanese culture was at this time. They were a little bit I don't know. Maybe anybody at Taku can post a comment about this, but for all you know, this is just my two cents on it. And again, this was ten plus you know, this is like ten plus years ago, of course, obviously more than that. So um, if anybody could tell me if I, I don't know, I see this subject matter in this game. And I think about the time it was made, and I think about that in specific. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But didn't mean to sidetrack or anything, I just thought that that was something relevant. Yo, Cloud, there's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? None, I'm positive. You sound pretty sure. If there was anyone from Soldier, you wouldn't be standing here now. 
Don't go thinking you're just so bad because you was in Soldier. <laughs> it's a great animation. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys and soldiers are. But don't forget that your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now. Don't get no ideas about hanging on to see Shinra. Stand with Shinra? You asked me a question and I answered it, that's all. I'm going upstairs, I want to talk about my money. Shucks, money! Okay, can I talk to Marlene? Papa, you're so creepy. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> Wait, Cloud! Tifa, let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shinra. Okay, I'm reading this differently than Barrett is. The way Cloud is talking, he's being more matter-of-fact about it. Shut up! I don't care about neither Shinra nor Soldier. But don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or this planet for that matter. He, he's being a bit of a... He's mad. Straighten things up with everyone for me. Shucks, money. Cloud, you say you don't care, but you can't even talk to me. You just want friends. Isn't that right? <laughs> I like swords. <laughs> okay, so there's no change there. Can I talk to him? Or is he on pieces? Yeah, I think he's in pieces. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to Biggs. Money. Oh my, I must have been for a lot of it. Oh, what the hell? It's a verbal agreement. Let me figure this out. Oh, stop it, Cloud. Did you hear me? I'm asking you, please join us. Sorry, Tifa. The planet is dying. Surely, but surely, it's dying. Someone has to do something. Now we have... The Reluctant Hero. So let Barrett and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So, you're really leaving. You're just gonna walk right out, ignoring your childhood friend. Promise, too. Promise? So you did forget. Remember, Cloud, it was seven years ago. Cliché! <laughs> okay, maybe this was, um... Maybe this was before the cliché was formed, but I know that I... There is a list online of... It's, I believe, called the Grand List of RPG Clichés. This has since become the cliche, but this might have been made before that cliche was formed. Like, a lot of people could have been taking their cues from this. But of the flashback of two characters that might fall in love or something like that, looking at the night sky. Look, the well. Do you remember? Yeah, back then. I thought you would never come, and it was getting a little cold. Sorry I'm late.
You said you wanted to talk to me about something? Come this spring, I'm leaving town for Midgar. All the boys are leaving town. Wish I had a female voice here to read the female lines. I'm sorry about this, guys. You'll just have to read with me. But I'm different from them. I'm not just going to find a job. I want to join Soldier. I'm going to be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth? The great Sephiroth? This scene could probably go down in video game history. This is an important scene. Isn't it hard to join Soldier? I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. Huh? If you make it, will you be in the newspapers? I'll try. Hey, let's make a promise. Um, if you get really famous and I'm ever in a bind, you will come and save me, alright? What? If I'm ever in trouble, my hero will come and rescue me. And I can't believe I just read those words out. <laughs> I want to experience that at least once. What? Come on, promise me! Alright, I promise. That's what this is about. You remember now, don't you? Our promise? Shaking his head. I'm not a hero and I'm not famous, so I can't keep our promise. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. So come on, you've got to keep your promise. Wait a sec, big time Soldier. Promise is a promise, here. This is my pay? Don't make me laugh. It's not like he gave you a hundred bucks or something like that, like you would have gotten if you were playing Ultima 9 and doing that huge fetch quest. What? Then you'll, you got a next mission lined up? I'll do it for three, for 3,000. What? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Psst, we're really hurting for help, right? <laughs> uh, uh, the modest from Marlene schooling. All right, that is, all right, that's serious. 2,000. Thanks, Cloud. Beautiful music. Absolutely beautiful music. He's probably hungover. And I'll tell you why I think he's hungover. Because I accidentally had him drinking a lot more than I thought I would in this scene. So you see that little shake in his head. I guess he's hiding here. <laughs> they got Marlene, I love this, they got Marlene behind the bar. <laughs> I hope you're just fixing sodas, kid. <laughs> Good morning, Cloud. Did you sleep well? I don't know what you mean. I'm go I'm going this time. Our talk is a Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. Yo, Cloud. Before next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I really don't know how to use material. I'll give you that material we found. Just teach me how to use it. Okay, I'll explain it. Now we got a little in-game tutorial. I like how they made the tutorial work in-game. First, access the menu. You know the basic functions. Press triangle to bring up the menu. Directional buttons move the cursor. Like this. Select each menu by using the cross button. If you want to leave the menu, 
Just press circle button. Okay. We always call this the X button, but the Japanese, this is not the first time I ever heard it. I've also heard it used this way in the PS3 version of Catherine. This is called apparently the cross button, not the X button. But square, circle, and triangle are still referred to as square, circle, and triangle. I know that's a little bit unusual because, like, for a Western audience, I believe cross would be more like a, a plus sign or something like that. They could probably blame, you know, religion for that in some cases, but, you know, anything where two lines intersect, I guess, is called a cross. Now you're in this menu. Oops, skip that one. Go into material, select who you want to use it. Now look at my weapon here. Each weapon and armor has slots in it. Choose which slot you want to put materia in. And select the materia you want to use. This is curative materia. If you want to know what its effect is, light up the cursor with the check in the menu. And press the cross button. It's just like selecting battle commands. Just line up the cursor, just line the cursor up to magic. You can see that the available magic has increased. Now you can use a new magic cure. And that's all there is to equipping materia. See it wasn't that tough. When you want to remove any materia, it's as easy as pointing to the materia slot and pressing the triangle button. There's just one thing you have to be careful of. Whenever you equip materia, your situation changes. Parts of you may become stronger, while others get weaker. Normally, when you equip magic materia, your magic power will get stronger, but your physical strength weakens. So materia is kind of a double-edged sword. On the left side of the screen, you can see materia's effect on you. It's wise not to overuse materi magic materia. But try out various things. Press circle button exit the sub menu. Okay, that's about it. I'll give you some advanced tips later. You, what's this? It wasn't that tough crap. I don't get it. You're seeing a material cloud. Cloud, I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you. Don't forget. Marlene, you watch the store while we're gone. All right. Good luck. Let's equip materia here. I'll get further to restore, restore materia. I have anything else? No, I don't have anything else. Yeah, I've already got my magic and stuff used, so. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. See, there's nothing but headaches when you see it, but now that he's gone, I kind of miss him. Strange, isn't it? I wonder if my son's already left. When it was just my wife and I here. You have no idea how lonesome it gets. Empty nest room, very nice. Well, there's no chest or anything in here. Definitely want fire.
<laughs> like it. Okay, this is not what I was expecting. I thought you could just select these, but I guess they're kind of... Fight Club. You do not talk about Fight Club. I think I've walked into a Fight Club here. Stay in this, uh, what do you call it, section. This is the fabled save point. At a save point, you can use a tent. I know where select save. You can also do something else there, but right now it's a secret. Even if you're wiped out, you're saved. You can restart from that same point. That way you don't have to worry about it when you've been wiped out. This is juggling ahead a little bit, but when you leave Midgar and you get to the world map, you can save anywhere you like. Remember that. That should be all you need to know about the save point. I'll probably see you again somewhere down the road. Take care. I'm a treasure chest. Beginners, make sure to keep an eye out for me. Does this save point even work? I can't remember if it does. Yeah, it does. Alright, we'll save. I want to find that guy who's got the weapons. Why would I want to pay 10 gills for this, uh... I think I prefer the floor. Well, where's that guy upstairs with the weapon? Thought there was somebody that could sell me something. This guy? Okay. 
don't have any material left for her? I'm gonna give her something. Upstairs. That's the thing about this game, it's like I don't know who this guy upstairs is supposed to have a weapon or something. Okay, I can't talk to Marlene. Is there a guy upstairs? save it. I think this is a good place to quit for right now. Yeah, my team equipped. I'm just going to save it here, and I think I'm going to quit here for today. Okay, guys, that's the stream for today. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. I'm just going to cut the video feed in a second. Sorry about that. I decided against it. Okay. Now I'm going to quit the audio. But I want to check something really quick before we go. No, there are no additional options. Hmm. Just curious about that. Um, I thought there were extra options here, but I guess not. Um, because yeah, they, they, I think that they changed the, uh, the 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 profanity was changed more to beep beeps and you know gibber. I thought there might have been a way to alter that or change it. But yeah, that is um, second part of Final Fantasy VII on the PlayStation 4. Amazed to see, and I'm, I'm, I, I admit I have played this, this scene in the past um, on my PlayStation 3, but um, I haven't beaten this game. I've never played through it, so this is going to be my first experience playing it. Um, if you know that guy that he's talking about, uh, maybe he was the guy in the next shop, I don't know. But there was some guy upstairs that uh, Barrett was talking about. I don't know who this guy is. I've never, I looked upstairs, I checked, I didn't see anybody. So maybe this was a mistranslation or somebody else, somebody I might have talked to already. So please post a comment below or a YouTube, either here or on YouTube or something so I know who this guy is if I talk to him already in this feed because I sure don't know and I'm probably just going to continue on to the train after this in the next part. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for re-watching. This will probably be up on the YouTube channel tomorrow. Until next time, guys, I'm Maniac with GameAccess.net. I'm just going to cut the feed right now. Take care, everybody. Over and out.